according to Sega's original ad campaign for this, this is what separates the men from the boys. This is the Sega Game Gear, Sega's first handheld console, which was released in Japan in 1990 and in North America the following year. So yeah, this is one of the main competitors to Nintendo's highly successful Game Boy console. And it's certainly a more technologically advanced handheld than the Game Boy, but it did lack the library and it had a few other issues that kind of kept it from not being as popular as it could have been. But it's still a really cool handheld console with some great games for it. But one of the most notable differences between this and the Game Boy is the screen. So we'll pop on a game here. We've got Sonic 2 loaded in and it's not puke green. It's a nice shiny color. And you also notice the screen is backlit. And so there's a the brightness control on the side. So that's definitely handy. You can, you know, control it very specific to your environment. And yeah, the, the colors on this thing look great. This is kind of uh, similar to the Sega Master System as far as the processing power goes, uh, but with actually more colors. And you get some pretty nice looking games. Like I said, this is Sonic 2, which plays very close to the Genesis version. But let's take a look at some of the other features. Another main difference from the Game Boy is the position of the controls. Instead of having your controls underneath the screen, you've got a more more wide feel. So you've got the D-pad over here. The D-pad is actually very good. And then you have two buttons on the side and your start button there. And then up top we've got your power switch, a plug-in for an adapter, uh, an external port. This is usually for you know your game link cables. Uh, headphone jack and volume controls there. This is the cartridge slot And as far as power goes uh, This is one of the problems with the game gear It needs six double A's and since the screen is backlit uh, It tends to only last about I don't know four hours on average um, So that's uh, kind of a problem that can get pretty expensive if you don't have rechargeable batteries. But other than that, this is a pretty nice little console. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it definitely doesn't have the the game library like the Nintendo Game Boy did. That was one of the their main upper hands back in the day. The developers just were more interested in producing for the Game Boy, make more money. But the Game Gear is still very solid handheld. Definitely recommend this for anyone nostalgic for this kind of thing. Now, uh, if only we had a magnifying glass and some speakers and a, another light could make this into Game Gear Tron. Have a proper robot battle. Oh well, maybe next time. <laughs>